Are you ready? <laughs> I was born ready. <laughs> no, you weren't. You were born nine months after I banged your mom. Yeah, second grade called. They want their insults back, you little bitch. <laughs> well, guess what? Your mom called, and I didn't answer. You motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, that's what they call me. That's it, goddammit! Dumbass. Ryan T, you one cold son of a- Shut your mouth. this review ghouls and gals i just want to say uh thank you for tuning in and uh happy holidays merry christmas i know that this film isn't particularly a uh, christmas film per se but uh anytime nick cage comes out in a martial arts film that is indeed a fucking gift oh yeah and if i didn't let you know by now nick cage is a fucking martial artist in this fucking movie yeah, that is what uh, initially drew me to this movie because uh, I don't know if you ghouls and gals know, but I fucking love the Cage Man. The Cage Man is awesome. You know what? Let's just take a second to uh, kind of just bask in the glory that is the Cage Man. Okay, that was about a second. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a huge Nicolas Cage fan. Everything from him uh, grabbing nuns' asses and face off. Him, uh, pissing out fire in Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. And him stealing the fucking uh, independence, the fucking Declaration of Independence and fucking National Treasure. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. And to him fucking doing a backflip with a samurai sword in this fucking movie. I can fly too. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot to unpack in this movie because, uh, again, it's a movie with Nicolas Cage, who is a jujitsu master that's also like a samurai. And he's also facing off against a uh, alien uh, that looks like this. He has like a gorilla slash piranha face. And he has like an Iron Man slash like Power Ranger suit. And he's also like heavily inspired by the Predator, but like a really shitty knockoff version of the Predator. Uh, yeah, and we never even get a name for this fucking thing. Never get a name for it. Nicolas Cage calls it, like, uh, the Comet Man or the Space Man. He even calls it the Space Man and shit like that. Um, one thing this movie is not heavy on is fucking dialogue. Nobody ever really talks in this movie, and I guess it's a good thing because, uh, nobody in this film can really act aside from Nick Cage and Frank, uh, Grillo, who uh, comes out in the Marvel movies as uh, Crossbones. Him and Nick Cage are the only two people that can fucking act in the movie, and uh, thankfully, they're the only two that they let really talk in the movie, because the uh, film's lead, Jake, right here is uh, fucking terrible. The entire film, he just has this, like, dumbfounded fucking look on his face. He's just like this the entire movie. Like that, that that's the face he has. And then he's like doing martial arts and he's just like this. <laughs> he's the most fucking bland, boring protagonist I've ever seen in any fucking film. And I think the director of the movie, this uh, sweaty Italian looking man right here, uh, uh, was like, uh, yeah, Jake, uh, he is not very good at the acting. Maybe I shouldn't have done that accent. That was a tad racist. For my Italian viewers out there, uh, I'm very sorry. I'll send you some Olive Garden. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Jake, uh, Jake from State Farm right here isn't a 
good actor by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I looked him up, and old Jakey Boy here is actually a uh, martial artist. He's a kickboxer, and um, apparently he starred in the movie Kickboxer Retaliation, which... This film is really fucking proud of because apparently the director directed that movie and I guess we're supposed to know about Kickboxer Retaliation, which, guess what? Nobody fucking knows about that movie. <laughs> but uh, going back to Jiu-Jitsu, which is the name of this film, and guess what um, kind of martial arts they practice in this, in this movie? Karate. <laughs> no, I'm not even sure they practice jujitsu in this movie. I would have to ask like Joe Rogan Point or somebody out. that knows Doesn't fucking jujitsu. But uh, yeah, they just kind of like fly around all over the place and do flips. And uh, the one thing that's very fucking jarring in this movie, and it isn't the terrible CGI which looks like this, and it isn't the uh, terrible costume of the alien guy that looks like this. It's the fucking transitions, dude. They have these weird fucking transitions. Okay, look. Check this out. I'm going to do a transition right here. And I'm going to pick the most weirdest fucking transition that I could possibly pick for this fucking movie. Did you like that? Was that jarring? Let's do it another time. Yeah! That's what this movie does. This movie does that so many times that it makes it look like the main character of the film is like filming the movie as the movie's progressing. Like it breaks the fourth wall, the fifth wall, it shatters all dimensions and it just goes back to this shit dimension where this movie only exists and you're just kind of just like, what the fuck is going on right now? So yeah, uh, they... <laughs> There's these edits in the film, like this edit right here, that's crazy, and uh, this one right here, that's also crazy. Uh, yeah, stuff like that makes it look like if the star of the movie, oh, Jakey Boy right here, was like behind the camera, like do doing like uh, like all the martial arts stuff, then had to quickly run behind the camera and carry the camera and like run and be like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. And this film, it tries to blend too many things together. Like, it wants to be the Predator, it wants to be Hardcore Henry, and it wants to be just any other movie than what it is. And, uh, thank God it had Nicolas Cage in this movie, because if it didn't have Nicolas Cage in this movie, nobody would fucking watch this movie. I guarantee fuck it to you. Nobody was watching it for Jakey Boy here. Nobody was watching it for Crossbones here. Nobody was watching it for Tony Jaw here because he doesn't say a fucking word of dialogue in the entire fucking movie. So yeah, this just... Thank God that Nicolas Cage was in this fucking movie. Well, in summary, ghouls and gals, uh, a movie called Jiu-Jitsu starring Nicolas Cage, who is a kung, a, a kung fu or jiu-jitsu uh, master that's wielding a sword and uh, fighting against this shitty-looking alien thing, isn't very fucking good, but... God damn, is it entertaining. Well, I'm Ryan T, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.